Hey friends, lately there has been some worrying news about Android. It seems the platform is becoming more like Apple iOS in terms of restrictions. By 2026, Google is expected to block side loading. And for us, Samsung users, the bootloader will be locked with the update to One UI 8. In this video, I will show you how to easily block Samsung updates on your device. Stay tuned. For this tutorial, I will use the Samsung Tab S8 running on One UI 7. The process on your Samsung smartphone will be exactly the same. By default, when you go to Settings under Software Update, you will see options to manually check for updates and to turn off automatic downloads. However, our goal is to stop the device from checking for updates entirely. The first step will be enabling developer options usually found at the bottom of the settings list. To enable it, navigate to About Tablet or About Phone, then Software Information where you will see the build number version. Tap the build number seven times to enable developer options. The second step is to enable USB debugging and wireless debugging found under developer options. Next, download an app called ADB Shell from the Play Store. The function we need is available in the Pro version, which I personally recommend. That said, several other ADB apps likely provide this feature for free. Proceed to open the app and follow the steps shown to pair the app with your phone through wireless debugging. When the debugging prompt appears, enable Always Allow and then tap Allow. Because our One UI 7 is based on Android 15, choose the Shizuku method. In the next window, click the Connect button again and allow notification permissions. Click Connect once more and this time you will be requested to pair the app through wireless debugging. After clicking OK, the app will take you to the developer options where you will navigate and select wireless debugging. Under wireless debugging, choose pair device with pairing code. You will notice that a pop-up notification will appear as the ADB shell app is actively searching for a broadcasted pairing code. Enter the code provided into the notification prompt to pair the app. After successful pairing, go back to the ADB shell app, confirm the successful pairing prompt and navigate backwards to the home page of the app. Under the device tab, select the pairing mode option, which in this case is the second option. For the final step, navigate to the apps tab and search for software updates. In the results, you will see two apps called Software Update. Disable the one with the blue download icon. You can also disable the other if you wish for good measure. Please be sure not to accidentally disable any other app unless you are sure of what you are doing, since disabling critical system apps can soft brick your device. So, after disabling the Software Update app, go to System Settings and you'll notice that the Software Update option is no longer available. Even if you search for it and try to open it, you will find that it does not work. If you later decide that you want to update your phone, you can re-enable the software update app through the ADB shell app. While updates are valuable for security, I personally prefer disabling them given Google and Samsung's increasing restrictions. Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.